Okay, so the second question is, a TV talk show asks viewers to register their opinions on prayer in schools by logging onto a website. Of the 602 people who voted, 488 favored prayer in schools. We want to estimate the level of support among the general public. So what I'd like you to do is I would like you to um, figure out the population, the sample, the P, the P hat, and check those conditions and see if they work and then come back and check and see if you got it right. Did you check? Okay. All right, so the population is the general public. The sample is the 602 viewers that actually logged on to the website. The P is the proportion of the general public that support prayer in school. So not out of the 602 viewers, but it's actually out of the whole general public. The P, -P the P hat is the proportion of viewers that logged onto the website and voted that supported prayer in school, which was actually 81.1%. And we found that by doing 488 divided by 602. All right, and then we got to check the conditions. The first one is the plausible independence. Well, there's a good chance that one is not going to affect the other. So what one person votes doesn't really change what another person votes. Is it random? Well, this is where we're going to have issues because this is not a random sur survey. It's a convenience sample, and so this is not random, okay? So it would be unwise to attempt to use the sample to infer anything about the opinion of the general public related to school prayer. So we could, but it wouldn't be a safe estimate or a safe guess or a safe statement to say anything about it because we know that it wasn't randomized. Okay, last one. A school is considering requiring students to wear uniforms. The PTA surveys parent opinion by sending a questionnaire home with all 1,245 students. 380 surveys are returned with 228 families in favor of the change. So again, I want you to find the population, the sample, the mean, the sample mean, and check those conditions and see what happens, and then come back to the video. All right, so the population is parents at that school because um, it's only worrying about that school. The sample is the 380 parents who actually return the surveys. The P is the proportion of all parents at that school in favor of uniforms. The sample P is where the proportion of those who responded that are in favor of uniforms, which was actually 60%. Okay, so now to check the conditions. The first one is the plausible independence. Unless it's one parent and then uh, the husband or wife sending it in, then I would think that they're being independent. On a, I would not think of a reason of why they would affect each other. Is this random? And again, it's not random. Um, it's biased by non-response. There may be lurking variables that affect the opinions of parents who return surveys and the children who actually deliver them. It would be very unwise to attempt to use this sample to infer anything about the opinion of parents about uniforms. So because one thing doesn't work, just like on our previous question, it's not wise to actually make any statements saying what you think might happen based on this information. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to work on your homework. Um, it's going to be chapter 19, uh, questions 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 10. I know that I didn't do notes traditionally, but I didn't have time to put them on the overhead. So if you're able to fill in those blanks um, and write down information from the note outlines, then that's great. Otherwise, tomorrow, after we review chapter 18, after we prepare for our quiz, the last 30 minutes we'll go back over chapter 19 and we'll talk about what the video was about, clear up any questions you had on it. But remember that there is a quiz tomorrow and that you need to work on chapter 18. The best way to study for that quiz is just that classroom worksheet that was a front and back chapter 18 quiz review. If you're able to do that, then I would say that you're prepared for the quiz. If you're struggling with that, then you might want to come in. Um, tomorrow, I believe, is enrichment, and I will get here early in the morning again. And if I have a, meet, a meeting, I'll go ahead and skip it if there's people in here, if there's people that come in and actually need help. Okay? All right. Well, I hope class went away okay today, uh, that you work together and you're able to answer each other's questions. Bye-bye.